Hello everyone, welcome to the news. So today we're looking at an article called Further Measures Announced to Tackle Phone Use While Driving to Improve Road Safety. So the new article here by uh, harrowonline.org. Um, people using mobile phones has been an issue for a long time and it is a safety uh, problem especially with people who just disregard the law. Now the law currently as it stands says if you make a phone call or a text message and you are caught you will be fined £200 and six points on your license. Get 12 points on your license and you're banned. So basically if you get caught twice you will lose your driving license for a minimum of 12 months and you could face potential um, time in prison if you caused a fatality or any serious accident. So I want you to do a video to talk about some new legislation dated, um, this article is dated the 18th of October 2020. Um, they're looking at making it more strict, that means using your phone in any capacity will result in you losing your license or at least getting six points. Um, so I'm going to run through the article here, so bear with me as I read it for you. People using handheld mobile phones in all circumstances while driving will be breaking the law under new government plans unveiled um, by Road Minister Baroness Via yesterday on the 17th of October. The plans will help close the legislation loophole and improve road safety. It's already a criminal offence to use a handheld mobile phone to call or text while driving, but not for other actions such as taking photos while still distracting drivers, have escape punishment due to legal uh, loop loophole in the law, where such actions are not seen as interactive communication and therefore do not fit the current definition of the offence. Uh, now, following a review of the offence, a uh, consultation has been launched on bringing the law into line with modern technology, meaning driving caught, taking photos, playing games, or scrolling through a playlist behind the wheel will be clearly breaking the law on a mobile phone. So, obviously, there's a loophole there that has existed for some time. Recognising that mobile phones are commonly used as a method of payment, such as a drive through an exception will be applied under the new proposals to set out by government today uh, for contactless payments. If a vehicle is stationary, if goods or services such as a takeaway meal are delivered immediately. Um, my take on that will be that you're most likely to be on private land. So the law would not apply. So if you drive into a McDonald's, for example, um, the, the property of McDonald's will be pro classed as private land, so therefore the law wouldn't apply. Um, it's only when you go on a public road does the law apply, um, just to make that clear. Uh, roads Minister Baroness Via said, Our roads are some of the safest in the world, but we want to make sure they're safer um, still by bringing the law into the 20th century. That's why we're looking to strengthen the law and make using a handheld phone while driving illegal in a wider range of circumstances. It's distracting and dangerous for too long. Uh, risky drivers have been able to escape punishment. Um, this update will mean these those doing uh, the wrong thing will face the full force of the law. Now, I do quite a lot of driving and I can tell you that I recall literally seen a woman um, with kids in, in a Range Rover having a tablet and literally was playing a game of Tetris. I hate to tell you this, but if you do that, you're an idiot. Ministers have rejected calls to go further by banning the use of uh, hand, hands-free functions. Drivers will still be able to uh, continue safely using devices, hands-free uh, while driving such as a sat nav security in a cradle. Um, I differ on this. Um, my take on that is you're still 
um, fiddling with something while driving and that will distract your attention and cause an accident. The proposals come as new research published today gives further snapshot into driver behaviour in the UK. Uh, the project commissioned by the DFT carried out by um, the University of Leeds looked at uh, footage of 51 drivers and found over 765 trips, 662 mobile phone interactions were observed with only 38 completely hands-free. At 30 miles per hour, a car travels 100 feet in 2.3 seconds, meaning even a split second lapse from changing a song on a playlist or checking an app could result in a crash. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you're tempted to touch your phone, look at your messages, and we're all guilty of that. We all want to see what notification we've got, what message we've received from someone. Just pull over, turn your engine off, and then you can look at your phone. Just remember to take the keys out of the ignition and put them on the drive uh, on the passenger seat and then you're fully legal. Um, having the keys in the ignition or the engine on is not classed as um, not being char in charge of a vehicle. You're still in charge of a vehicle so you need to remember just take your key out of the ignition put it on the passenger seat or on your dash or it's, as long as it's not in the ignition you're, you're fully legal. Um, by updating the, the law, police powers will be bolstered to tackle the behaviour even further, ensuring uh, they can take immediate action if they see a driver holding and using their phone at the wheel. The penalties in, in place, again, as I've said, six points on your licence if you get caught and a £200 fine. If you get 12 points, that means if you just two instances have been caught on your phone, will result probably in a 12 month ban and you will not be allowed to drive your vehicle. So it's not worth it. And if you have a professional job you rely on, um, you're a bus driver, truck driver, um, even a courier, as a professional driver, you should know better. So don't do it. National Police Chiefs Council's lead for road uh, policing Chief Constable Anthony uh, Bangham said, using a, a mobile phone while driving is in incredibly dangerous and being distracted at the wheel can change lives forever. And it certainly is the case. You can kill someone very instantly, very quickly. As said, 100 feet in 2.3 seconds is not very long at all. So you, know, you need to think about other people's well-being, not just your urge to see what's on that message. Police will take robust action against those using handheld mobile phone illegally and propose to make the, uh, the law clearer uh, and more, most welcome. The government is also taking tackling phone use behind the wheel through a review of road traffic policing and wider traffic enforcement to look at how uh, road policing currently works in effectiveness and where improvement could be made. As well as this, the department runs uh, dedicated think campaigns to show drivers and risks they are taking and the uh, potentially devastating impact of using a handheld phone while driving. The uh, addition, the road safety road uh, plans set out over 70 measures to reduce the number of people killed or injured on roads around the country. So there you go. That's the article in its in full entirety. Um, so what are my take-homes from this? What are my final thoughts? Right, first of all, if you don't use your phone, you're not going to get six points on your license. You're not going to get a £200 fine. Um, don't play games. Don't fiddle about looking on your playlist for music, right? Um, don't use GPS. Um, 4G, 3G, whatever it is, 5G, when that comes out, um, to even looking on YouTube. Don't do it. If you must, and you do want to listen to a podcast or something on, on, your, on your integrated Bluetooth um, system in your car, pull over, take your key out of the ignition, put it on the driver's uh, passenger seat, and then do what you need to do 
then obviously pick up your key, put it back in the ignition, and on your, on your way. Um, please don't fiddle about with your mobile device while the vehicle's moving, because you will be breaking a lot. Please do not play video games while driving. That's just silliness. As I said in this example of a, a Range Rover, where I literally could see the woman playing a video game on a tablet. And she's got kids in the in the vehicle. Come on. Don't you want to think about the safety of your children in your vehicle? You know, have a bit of common sense. So my take home is, please don't do it. Look after yourself. Um, obey the law. Um, stop fiddling about with your mobile phones. Because I see it every single day. Probably 50 times a day. Um, when driving, I will never use my mobile phone to, you know check for messages, go on YouTube to see what notifications I've got or um, see what messages I've got or even answer the phone. Obviously, it still it will still will be illegal for you to answer the phone via Bluetooth, providing you're not messing about with your phone. So, as I said, please don't fiddle about with your phone. Keep it in the glove compartment so it's, it's away from you and Turn it off if, if, you, if it bothers you that much. Turn your phone off so then you can't be interrupted while driving. Uh, and if you must use your phone, pull over to a safe place. Turn your engine off, put your handbrake on, take your key out of the ignition and put the keys somewhere where it's not in the ignition. Um, and that will make you fully legal. I hope this video was helpful and I hope to see you in the next news report and uh, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy these news reports but i just want to keep you fully informed of what's going on and we'll talk to you in the next video